Hey, Teddy K here for the Best Buy blog, and in this video, we look at the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar, a smartwatch that takes workouts just as seriously as you would. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar is a little long in the tooth, probably at this point. By the time that I'm reviewing this, this uh, watch not come out this year, but it's still very viable and something that is well worth using if you are serious about your health and fitness. Uh, this is the kind of watch that you buy when you want to take things to a different level. It's not a casual smartwatch. It's not meant to be a casual smartwatch and nor should you look at, at it as, as that. So uh, I'll explain a little bit more as we go along here, but basically that is to me a, almost a prerequisite for you to even go into this. There are a couple main reasons why I say that. First is, okay, the, the size is one thing. I mean, it's 47 millimeter. It's a fairly large watch, uh, fairly thick, a little bit heavy. Uh, but certainly durable. And this is the kind of watch that you can swim with. You can even rough it a little bit. You want to take it for a hike. You want to climb with it. You can do a number of things with this watch and it'll probably withstand a lot of it. That doesn't mean it's indestructible. It just means that it's pretty durable. So on the one hand, you can do a, a litany of, of activities with this. So much so, I'm going to show you in a second, that the, the list almost feels like it's endless. But the other side of it too, is that it is fairly flexible in how you wanna use it. So it doesn't really matter what kind of workouts you're into or what sort of fitness regimen that you go under. Uh, this has something for you, right? Even if like you're a golfer, for example, it's got something for you as well. So whether you're a fitness fanatic or a sports fanatic, it doesn't really matter. The Phoenix 6 Pro Solar was made for you to be active, whether it's indoors or outdoors. I say outdoors because it also has a solar charging capability here. That's It's not enough to necessarily recharge the thing completely on its own while you're outside, but it does extend what's already long battery life. This thing is capable of going up to 16 days if you use certain features and certain settings to get there. But for the most part, even if you're using it heavy duty every day, you're using it all the time, even with some GPS on, whatever, you're gonna crack 10 days easily. That is incredible. Uh, by smartwatch standards, you're, you're just not gonna get that in most cases, but this is meant to last, figuratively and literally. And so you can expect that if you're gonna be active with this, you're not gonna have to charge it all the time. That is also good news because it is a proprietary charger. So on the back, you have a charging port that is unlike anything else. Meaning that if you're gonna travel with this and take this with you wherever it is that you wanna take it, you're probably gonna have to take the charger with you unless it's only a few days where the, the watch is probably gonna last. Now I mentioned the exercises. Okay, so as I'm talking here, I'm gonna go through the list. As you can see, there are so many on here and they're so varied that it, it just covers a wide gamut of whatever it is you wanna do. I mean, there's there's exercise on there that I, I actually didn't really expect necessarily to be on there, although I probably should have given uh, Garmin's pedigree, but never, nevertheless, there's a lot there and you can add whichever ones you want as favored so that you can quickly access them at any time. It's a neat system, but of course, the watch itself requires that you learn how to get around. The navigation is based on the buttons. There's no touch screen here. So if you learn the buttons, eventually, and I'm saying this as if you're someone who is coming from a touch screen smartwatch, this is gonna feel very different. It's gonna feel a little cumbersome and perhaps a little daunting early on, but as you learn the buttons, you start to recognize also how things, where things are and how to get there, right? So, you know, whether it's moving up or down in a menu, uh, turning the light on, for example, which could have been a little brighter, uh, moving back or just, you know, selecting, making a selection. Uh, all of those things are standard because they run throughout whatever feature you want to, you want to do on the watch. So whether it's activating a workout or if listening to music, or you know, accessing an app like a map or something like that, all of those controls factor into that. For tracking, there's a lot here too. The watch has an SpO2 sensor, so you can measure blood oxygen. It has a heart rate monitor, naturally. Uh, the All the sensory technology that's in here uh, combines in the Connect app. So the Garmin Connect app is what you're gonna need to use if you want to know where you stand and what's going on, obviously. Uh, access some challenges and, and really get things going because you can challenge other people on there. But anyway, the point is, is that you can use all the sensory technology that's on, on here so that you get what's called a body battery score. So the idea is for you to know 
okay, how have, how much did I work out? How hard did I go? What kind of recovery time do I need so that I can get back at it again? And, and, and things like that, like the kind of, I, I think the kind of contextual stuff that would make sense if you're working out and you want to maximize both your active and rest time. Uh, the watch does a fairly good job of that. Now I'm not, I'm not working out as, as heavily as you know, maybe you are. So you may get more of more benefit out of that than, than, than I would, or someone else might. The point is that Garmin developed this in such a way where it can, it can be applicable to anybody. So it doesn't matter if you're working out super hard or if you're just what you, you're just working out, uh, you can get an idea of where, where you stand. Right? So, uh, the, the app in a lot of ways gives you a lot of indications as to what's going on. So the watch can tell you some things, but it's the app that goes really granular and, and tells you more. I mean, that's where all the settings are and you can really determine like what it is, what's going on, what you want to do, set goals, uh, set workouts, things like that. All your schedule, your workout schedule can live within that app so that you know what you're doing and when you have to do it. I will say using this as a smartwatch, cause it is a smartwatch, with your phone, now it has to be connected to your phone. Uh, it has GPS built in, so you don't need it for that as far as tracking distance and things like that. But if it comes to, when it comes to notifications from your phone, so you wanna know who's calling, who's texting, things like that, you, you do need to be connected via Bluetooth uh, for that. Uh, you can see notifications, you cannot act upon them necessarily. So if you were to, let's say, respond to a text message, you could only really respond with like a canned response. You cannot talk to anybody uh, on the phone uh, using the watch. Uh, unfortunately, there's just no way to do that. So, but you can at least see who's calling and then answer the call, but then you gotta pick up the phone or if you have a Bluetooth headset connected, you can take the call that way. So there are some, some connections there. You'll get basic notifications too. So for example, social media or email, things like that. Those notifications will come through. You will see them on here, but again, you can't really do anything with them on here. You just know that they're there and then you'll have to reach for your phone and take it all, you know, just take over. I'll also say apps are limited here. So if, if you're used to coming from a smartwatch that has an abundance of apps that you can use, that's not necessarily the case here. There are apps. There definitely are apps. They're more workout or fitness based. Uh, some that you may never have heard of but you're not going to get the usual suspects. So if you're looking for Google Maps, for example, you're not going to get that here. If you're looking for, I don't know, something like uh, WhatsApp or something like that, I mean, you'll see notifications, but you're not going to be able to do anything on here. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just giving you a couple of examples, but the point is that the apps that you're familiar with, especially if you're coming from an Apple Watch or a Pixel Watch, uh, a Samsung Watch, something like that, you're not going to necessarily find them here. That's not really what the watch is about. Uh, it serves a very, a very particular purpose and it gives you access to other things on top of that, but it doesn't prioritize them in the same way, if that makes sense. By the time you see this, the Phoenix 7 Pro is already out. So what, I haven't used it yet, so I, I can't tell you the differences. You'd have to research that for yourself, but the 6 Pro Solar is still available and it is there as an alternative and perhaps a cheaper one at this point. So if you don't want to get the latest and greatest, but you want a lot of the same features, well, this, this is available and it is there for people who feel like they need it. Um, to me, again, as I said, when I prefaced my review here, you have to be serious about what it is you're doing to go this route because it, 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 this is not a casual smartwatch. This is a, a smartwatch with a purpose. And as long as you know what that is, you're going to be good to go. And that sums up my review of the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar for the Best Buy blog. I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.